You know, even Ferrari, those sleek symbols of Italian automotive excellence, even they can't escape the dreaded recall. Yeah, it's true. And this one is a real head scratcher, I got to say. It's uh, it's not your typical recall. No, not at all. Not talking about some fancy engine problem or software glitch. Yeah. Nope. This time it's something surprisingly basic. Well, screws. Loose screws. And not just on any old Ferrari either. This recall campaign number 24V81000 affects the 2023 Portofino M, the FA Spider, even the 2024 Roma Spider. Yeah, some pretty high-profile models. You wouldn't think loose screws would be a big deal in a car. But when you're talking about a Ferrari, it's something that could reach those insane speeds. Yeah, well, a loose screw in the wrong place can turn into a major headache. Exactly. So we're going to deep dive into this recall today, try to understand what happened and what it means for Ferrari and you know maybe for all of us who are fascinated by these supercars. Sounds good. Okay, so to kick things off, why don't you help us understand why loose screws are such a big deal in this case? Sure. So these particular screws are on the drive shaft. The drive shaft. And for anyone who doesn't know, that's the component that transmits power from the engine to the wheels. It's basically what makes the car go. Ah, uh, so we're not talking about like a loose screw on the dashboard or something. No, no, these are crucial screws. Got it. Now, if these screws come loose, you could lose traction. You could lose control, especially at high speeds. Yeah. And in a Ferrari, that can be really dangerous. I can only imagine. Yeah. Not the kind of adrenaline rush you're looking for when you're behind the wheel of one of those beauties. Exactly. Okay, so loose screws on the drive shaft. Bad news. We get it. But how did this even happen? I mean, Ferrari is known for its precision engineering. It's almost hard to believe they'd let something like this slip through the cracks. You'd think so, right? Well, the specific details about the type of screws and how this happened haven't been made public yet. But what we do know is that Ferrari discovered and reported the issue themselves. So they weren't waiting for someone to get into an accident right, or right for there. complaints to start pouring in. Exactly. They took a proactive approach, which suggests they're taking safety seriously, even if it means admitting a mistake. Okay. Well, that's somewhat reassuring, at least. So what happens next? What should owners of these Ferraris be doing? Well, Ferrari is going to start sending out letters to owners on December 27th, 2024, explaining the recall and what needs to be done. Oh. The good news is the fix itself is relatively simple. They'll either tighten the screws or replace them, and it's all free of charge at dealerships. Ah, so it's not like a massive overhaul or anything. No, they're trying to make this as painless as possible for their customers. Okay, so on the surface, this recall almost seems comical, right? Loose screws in a Ferrari. It's kind of like finding out a gourmet chef forgot to salt the pasta. But the implications could be really serious, right? Absolutely. I mean, you, you've got a brand that's built on this image of meticulous engineering and top-notch performance. And then something like this happens, it makes you wonder what else might have been overlooked. Right. It raises questions about their quality control process. Could there be other seemingly small things that are actually really important being missed? It'll be interesting to see how Ferrari addresses these concerns and reassures their customers. Absolutely. So for any of our listeners out there who happen to own one of these Ferraris, keep an eye on your mailbox around the holidays. You might be getting a unique invitation for a free screw tightening. A unique Ferrari experience for sure. But jokes aside, this really highlights something important. It doesn't matter how advanced or high tech a machine is. Even the smallest components can be crucial and overlooking them can have serious consequences. That's a really good point. It's a reminder that quality and precision matter at every level, especially when it comes to safety. You know, this whole situation raises a question in my mind. Yeah, what's that? Could this recall in a weird way actually increase people's confidence in Ferrari? How so? By finding and addressing the problem proactively, are they showing that they're committed to transparency and safety even when it's not the most flattering? Hmm. That's an interesting way to look at it. I guess they could go either way. Hmm. It'll be fascinating to see how this affects Ferrari's image in the long run. Agreed. And for anyone thinking about buying a Ferrari, this is a reminder to always do your homework check for any recalls or outstanding issues before you sign on the dotted line, because even the most prestigious brands can have their oops moments. Absolutely. All right, well, I think that about covers it for this deep dive into the Ferrari recall. Hopefully this has given everyone some food for thought and maybe a little chuckle along the way, but seriously, stay safe out there, folks, and keep those screws tight. You got it. Until next time. See ya.